Thank you for your interest in the Remark Office OMR software. During this demonstration, you will learn how Remark Office OMR can be used to process and grade plain paper exams. Part 2 of this demonstration will focus on the Data Center. The Remark Office OMR Data Center contains a spreadsheet style view of the form template to display recognized data. A form template file is required for each type of form you want to process. For each form template created, there is a corresponding data grid. When a form template is open, each grid column corresponds to an item or question on the form as it was defined in the form template. The data read from one form are considered a single record and display in one grid row. There are some basic concepts to review before you get started. Please note that there are several ways to access basic software functions. The first to note is the Getting Started task pane. The task pane on the left side of each Remark Office OMR window can be used to access the most common functions in the software. The task pane will automatically update based on the functions you perform. You can show or hide the task pane by selecting the View menu and then clicking Task Pane. The toolbar is a series of icons across the top of the Remark Office OMR window. These icons represent shortcuts for common functions within the software. Hold your mouse over any button to see tooltip text explaining the functionality of the button. The pull-down menus have all the functions available within the software. Many of these functions can also be found in the toolbar and task pane. It is up to you to decide how you wish to access software functions. You will notice that there are three windows in the data center. The first is the data grid. The Remark Office OMR data grid window employs a spreadsheet style view of the form template to display recognized data. When a form template is open, each grid column corresponds to an item or question on the form as it was defined in the form template. As your forms are processed, the data from each will populate the data grid row by row. The second window is the image viewer which displays an image of each processed form. This eliminates the need to refer back to the original paper form. You may choose to show or hide the image viewer by selecting the View menu and choosing Image Viewer. The third window is the Graph Viewer. This window provides you with the opportunity to view quick results of processed data. The Graph Viewer displays a graph of the data being processed, indicating the frequency of each response chosen. Click in any cell containing data to view a graph of their responses. Please note that the Graph Viewer is not grading data. Like with the Image Viewer, you can choose to show or hide the Graph Viewer. To open the Exam Answer Sheet form template, select the Open Form Template icon from the toolbar. Then select and open the Exam Answer Sheet completed.omr file. When the form template opens, its name appears on the title bar at the top of the screen, and you will see the region names you specified as your column headers in the data grid. Each column in the grid corresponds with one variable or question in the form template, as the column headers indicate. The data grid fills row by row as your completed forms are processed. Each grid row contains information from one processed form regardless of the number of pages the form contains. The Read Wizard is used to process completed forms and produce data. For demonstration purposes, we will be reading from pre-scanned image files. Start by selecting the Read Wizard icon across the top of your screen. The Read Method window will appear. In the Select method to use for Data Collection area, mark the radio button for Read from Image Files. Click the Next button to continue. Note that if we had had a scanner connected to our computer, we could also read the exam forms directly from the scanner. The Image Selection window will appear, enabling you to view and select the images you want to process. Select all of the image files that appear by clicking the green button for Add All Images. This will move the selected images into the Images and Read Order window on the right. Note that the first file in the list is the answer key for the test. The other scan forms are completed exams. Click the Read button to begin reading the image files. After the forms are processed, 21 rows of data are displayed in the data grid. Each row represents the responses collected from one of the forms. The first row is the answer key for the test, and the following rows are student exams. Our first three columns of data reflect the teacher, subject, and student ID as provided on the form. 
We can then see columns for the student's name, school, and ethnicity. These columns were added because of the database lookup feature we enabled in the student ID region in our template. At this point, you are now ready to inspect the data for missing or unrecognized responses in order to prepare for analysis and or data export. Remark Office OMR uses an automated tool called Review Exceptions to locate and correct any exceptions within a data set. The software will inform you of unrecognized or questionable responses by placing a visible marker in each appropriate data grid cell. Each one of the types of problematic or potentially inaccurate data is represented by a specific color and explanatory text. For example, answers that are left blank are flagged in yellow with blank written in the cell. Remark Office OMR will assist you in correcting the exception cases or problems by allowing you to see what was entered on the actual form in the image viewer. The stored images for each processed form are available to display your respondent's answer choices. You can click inside any cell in the data grid to view the corresponding image of that form. To begin reviewing exceptions, we will select the Review Exceptions link in the task pane. The Review Exceptions window will now appear within the task pane. The top half of the pane allows you to select the search cases. We we'll want to make sure multiple responses and blank responses are checked. The bottom half of the window allows you to configure and begin the search. You may search by row slash respondent going across rows, or by column slash item going down the columns. We will want to select row slash respondent and click the begin review button to start the automated review. The software searches through the data set to locate the flag cells. The first piece of flag data is a multiple response in the sixth grid row for the item labeled question 20. In the Review Exceptions window, you see a green exclamation point and response for question 20. The green tells you that a multiple response was encountered. The text in the brackets tells you that the question or item where the multiple response was encountered. In the box beneath Response for Question 20, we will use the drop-down list to select the appropriate response shown in the image viewer beneath the data grid. In this case, the student accidentally marked B and then put an X through it. Since the intended response was A, we will select this from the drop-down list. To continue, we can click the green arrow titled Search Forward or simply press Enter. The next exception is a blank response in row 11 for question 14. Looking at the image viewer, we can see that the student truly left the question blank. This question will be marked as incorrect when the data are scored. This process of review exceptions will continue until all items have been reviewed. By selecting the Finish button, we can complete reviewing the exception cases. Your data set is now ready to be saved and analyzed. Saving the data is as simple as selecting File and Save As. Remark Office OMR provides many file formats for exporting data to other applications. When the Save Data window appears, you can select your file type from the list below. Some options include SPSS, Excel, and Access. For this demo, the data is saved to the Remark format, which is a proprietary format within the software. This format saves the exception colors, if any are present, as well as the link from the data to the stored images, so that you can open your data and still view the image that corresponds with any piece of data. Thank you for taking the time to watch this demonstration of the Remark Office OMR software. We hope that this video was helpful in your evaluation of the software. A free demo download is available for testing purposes. We recommend that you review all of the form design guidelines prior to printing and distributing any forms. A number of sample forms are provided for you, but if you would prefer to create your own, you can submit your design for review by our support team. Training videos for Remark Office OMR can be found on the support page of the Gravic website. The full documentation, including the user's guide for Remark Office OMR, is available to you in PDF format. Please feel free to contact the Remark support team with any questions regarding the use of Remark Office OMR. For information on licensing and pricing, please contact the Remark sales team. We welcome you to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube so that you can receive the latest news on the Remark products. Thank you for your interest in the Remark Office OMR software.